all the world's a stage. And all the blah, 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 we all know how that one goes. But if you are a theatrical type, there's a good chance you became smitten at a very young age. The sweetest sounds I'll ever hear are still inside my head. Seeing the wonders of a life you might be part of one day, full of stories and experiences you can only dream about from the eighth row, behind two beehives in row seven. The most entrancing sight of all is yet for me to see. And the dearest love in all the world is waiting somewhere for me. Is waiting somewhere, somewhere for me. Once smitten, though, then comes the work of classes and training, of speech and technique, honing your craft as you pound the pavement in New York City, auditioning for anything and everything, all in pursuit of that moment in the spotlight where you hope someone might see you, really see you, and say those magic words. Where have you been? But what if those magic words never come and it's only rejection over and over again, year after year, and near miss after near miss until you realize that near miss has become your life? How do you keep at it with any hope Very nice. So, someone's shown up who's not on our list. Maybe a walk-in. I do know her. She's capable, a little vanilla, but we've got about 10 minutes until lunch. Yeah, sure. Loretta Durkin, you still there? Yes. Yes. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm so sorry. I'm so my agent assured me that I was on the list. Fine. And I... Do you have the pages for the role of the nanny? Uh, yes. Is it just the one scene? That's right. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Enough. Enough of your questions, detective. I'm happy to tell you who I am and what it is I do without your insistent probing. I am a caretaker of children to whom I'm given charge. Am I a substitute for the child's true mother? Some would prefer I say no, but I believe I am. I must be their mother when it's only me with them. Because a child needs to feel at all times safe. They need to feel protected with the kind of ferocity only a mother can summon. It's no matter if they were born of my own flesh. Would I kill to protect a child in my charge? That is the question you have for me, I assume, detective. To that I would say without so much as blinking, I would kill without compunction. For the sake and safety of any child in my care. So, now you have your answer. Where have you been? Um... But when you finally do land your dream, your moment in that spotlight, I said, where have you been? Oh. How far would you oh, go yeah. to hang on to it? Oh. Oh, 
thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs>